It's live from last week, episode 30. Let's go! Welcome, me, my fellow GeoWalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just got off night shift and I've been having a little fun with my mini with a new modification that the fiance does not know about yet. So I'm hoping to take the fiance on a little ride later and I'm hoping that the fiance doesn't get mad at me for getting these new lights for the mini. So it's 11 p.m. on Tuesday night and I convinced the fiance to come with me on a night ride to check out the lights. So I took her on a ride to TNT earlier and now we're at Perfect to get some takeout Chinese food. And after enjoying this perfect meal from the perfect Chinese restaurant with shomai hagao beef tripe and steamed beef ribs, my tummy's full and I think I'm gonna go to sleep soon. But before I call it in for the night, I actually have a couple of birthday greetings for us today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. The first CA that I've ever had over at Wysik when I was living there. She helped orient and welcomed me to the building when I was a young student back in the day. Anyways, Andrea, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you have a happy birthday. And the next birthday greeting is for a beach volleyball friend of mine, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. I remember first meeting you at the beach with your GoPro and your chest strap and you allowing me to take highlight videos when we were playing twos together. Anyways Joseph, hope to see you soon, hope to play twos with you on the beach and I hope that you had a happy birthday this year. A beautiful afternoon today, don't know if I can ask for anything more but I'm here at a local motorcycle shop to pick up some parts for my motorcycle because it hasn't been working for the past month or two. So hopefully with these parts and some time, I'll be able to get back on my motorcycle and start riding her again. But for today, before I go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight, we've got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys. First, I wanted to wish a happy birthday to Kirsten. Happy birthday, Kirsten. It's been a while since I last saw you back in your university days when we lived at Neil Weissick. And now I guess you're back in Europe doing your own thing. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. And for my next greeting, I have a birthday shout out to my old roommate, Van. Happy birthday, Van. I'm remembering all our parties that we used to have at 2H with Jeff, Zoltan, and all our other roommates that we used to have, as well as all the help that you provided for me when I was back in university. Anyways, my old roommate from 2H at Neil Weissick, hope you're doing well, hope you stay safe and healthy out there, and you too, I hope that you have a happy birthday. So I'm chilling at a local plaza in between night shifts. And I just have a beautiful story about gas prices yesterday. I was driving around checking out which gas stations have the best price for premium gas for my Mini. And I saw that one gas station had their prices for about $1.48 a liter. But I was lucky because when I pulled up to the gas station, I filled up and this was actually the price of the gas. So I filled the tank up all the way until my Mini's tummy was satisfied. Another story that I want to add on to for you guys is that I woke up a little bit earlier today after my post night shift nap and I walked to the bathroom and saw that I actually had quite a unique t-shirt on and the significance of this t-shirt was that it was from my cousin's wedding of whom she married this guy whose coincidentally birthday it is today. So basically I just wanted to rip off my shirt and give a little birthday greeting to Edouave. Happy birthday Justin. This is a guy on his wedding in Jamaica did break dancing on a yacht. I mean, how many people could say they've done that? Anyways, Justin, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Can't wait to hang out with you again. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. But yeah, I guess it's time to head back home because I'm going in for my second of my three night shifts tonight. So after dropping off Kennedy and Vilas earlier today. Welcome, Kennedy. Hi. Welcome, Vilas. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We'll just see who has the honor to mini carpool with us tomorrow morning after my night shift. And so our guest for mini carpool today is Bye Josie. Bye, Bye Josie. You so much for the ride. You're welcome. 
But yeah, moving on, there are also a couple of things that I want to highlight from yesterday. I checked the mail and actually we received a postcard from one of our good friends that's studying over in Scotland. Yeah, G. Thank you, G. Anyways, G, hope you're enjoying your travels over there and we look forward to more postcards from you in the future. Also, remember these self-driving food delivery trucks from the past? Well, I saw another one while driving and commuting on the streets to work yesterday. And one last thing, while shooting these clips yesterday, I was in front of a hairstyling shop where the store owner was actually cheering me on from inside her shop behind the scenes, giving us some genuine reaction videos from me. Afterwards, she was kind enough to reenact her actions from when I was filming earlier. Anyways, this beautiful young lady's name is Zora, who's a hairstylist and owner of this shop and who I've actually gone to in the past for a hair trim. She was a great sport for yesterday's video, and I promised her that when I was ready to get rid of my long, luscious hair, that I would come back to her shop for business. Anyways, I'm pretty excited because tonight I'm going for my last of my three night shifts tonight, meaning I have a day off tomorrow, for which I will see you guys next. So last night, the fiance actually sent me an article about this new boat that's making a visit to Harborfront. And guess what? I'm going to be taking my Uber to go check it out. Let's see if you guys recognize this boat. What a great surprise post night shift. So after checking out Theodore Tugboat this morning, I made my way to Saga, took a little nap, visited the fiance's family, and now I'm here because I've got some big news from the province of Ontario. We have officially began stage three of the pandemic reopening plan. Meaning that things that were previously closed such as indoor dining as well as gyms are now open. So here I am now at a local Planet Fitness to go to the gym for the first time since the pandemic started. Alright guys, after going to the gym for 5 minutes, walking around and doing 3 bicep curls, now we can actually say that we've gone to the gym today. And on that note, speaking on positive celebrations, we actually have a couple of birthdays for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my old co-worker, Shri. Happy birthday, Shri. I'm remembering the time that I traveled all the way to Brampton on my motorcycle to pick up some books from you, as well as the many outings that we had as a nursing group back in the day. Anyway, Sri, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that your family treated you well for your birthday this year. And for my next birthday greeting I have is from my cousin-in-law, Christine. Happy birthday, poots! An incredible athlete that I met for the first time through my cousin, and a former Flipics competitor who was intense in all the games that we competed in. Anyways, poots, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, taking care of your three children, Kyrie, Lena, and Dudes. 
and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So, I had one more reason why I planned to go to Saga yesterday, and that reason was to show the fiancé's family the new improvements that I made to my mini. So yesterday evening, I took the fiancé's sister out for a little night drive. And obviously, I had to show off my new interior LED lights that are underneath the seats, as well as my new Uber slash Lyft delivery sign. Of which we got a raw reaction video of her seeing it for the first time. <laughs> so you ready? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, Jers, hope you enjoyed the ride. Hope you enjoyed the new interior lights that I put into the mini. And I can't wait to take you guys out for another ride sometime soon. And speaking of which, if you guys out in the audience want to have a mini carpool with me, Feel free to make a comment below and I'll see if I can make an appointment with you guys sometime in the near future. But continuing on, before I go in for my fifth night shift in seven days, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my childhood friends, Natasha. Happy birthday, Natasha. I remember playing with you out on the recess playgrounds of Mother Teresa when we were younger. To now, in the present day, where you're running your own company where you're making your own miniature art for people to purchase. Where you guys can see right here, Tasha's Geeky Charm. So guys, when you have time, go check it out and support a local business. Anyways, Tasha, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. My next birthday greeting is for a former dance instructor of mine, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. I'm remembering the numerous dances that you choreographed for us when we were younger. And I'm also remembering the time that you directed our stage play of Wizard of Oz where I played the Tin Man. Anyway, Sherry, I see on Facebook that productions and dance is still a big part of your life. And on that note, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, Sherry. And I hope that you have a happy birthday. So, after dropping off the great Miss Gunna for the mini carpool this morning, I tried to take a post-night shift nap, but I was only able to get this much sleep after work. So, I had an idea of trying to meet up the fiancé for her lunch break earlier today. But I think I left a little bit too late because by the time I got there, her lunch break would have been over. So I went back home, tried to take a nap for a couple of hours on the couch. But I just ended up laying down, tossing and turning for two to three hours while pretending to watch TV. But now, several hours later, I'm downtown here to pick up the fiancé after her day shift. And I realized I have a couple of packages over the past week that I haven't opened yet. And shh, don't tell the fiance, but I think the majority of the packages is for my mini. So let's see what I got in the mail for this week. So let's see if I can open up these four packages before the fiance gets off of work. So I'm thinking that since we already opened up three packages today and we got five more packages that I opened up in the fourth package, I think we'll just leave it right there and keep you waiting for next week's episode to open up the rest of these packages. So now I'm back at home, got ourselves some nice London Fried Chicken Monday special. And now we're gonna go and get ready to eat that for tonight's dinner. But yeah, that just about wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've watched, Feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.